Hi, I'm Jan Bedford, and I'm here to explain what I'm going to look for in your environment check uh, as you begin your online test. So you can probably tell the way I have this camera positioned. It's in the same place where you would find an internal webcam. Mine is actually external, um, but notice if it's internal, then I can't see the desk that's in front of you. So that's why uh, you would need to look at the photographs that I've uploaded that shows where you should place a mirror, the, the proper placement, so that if you're using an internal webcam, I can see the reflection in the mirror of what um, I, I can't see with the camera, which is going to be your desktop. Um, you need to make sure that you have held your photo ID up to the camera when you were prompted and at the point where you're ready for the environment check, what I expect you to do is to pick up either your webcam or your monitor, if it's an internal webcam, and you're going to slowly show me the entire room. If you move the camera too quickly, then I am unable to see everything because it's blurry. I won't show you what that looks like. Just take my word for it. It will be very blurry if you go too fast. I want you to show me what is right around the area where you're sitting to be sure there is nothing within reach that shouldn't be there. I also want you to show me everything that's on the desktop. There should not be stacks of papers. You shouldn't have anything that involves notes that's accessible. I do have a few items in this tray, so I'm going to make a point to uh, illustrate that there are no notes written on those papers. And then I'm going to place this off to the side now so that while I'm testing, you'll be able to see my face and my desktop in the camera. You would, before you test, you need to show me your calculator. I need to see what kind of calculator you're using. If a graphing calculator is forbidden on your test, I need to make sure that's not what you're using. Um, if a graphing calculator is permitted, then I want to see that as well, what it is that you're using. Whatever paper you have, you would need to hold the sheet up to let me see that there is no writing. You didn't come to the test with notes already in hand. That would be a forbidden activity. If you have a cell phone with you, I would want you to show it to me and then show me that you are placing it out of reach so that it is not accessible while you are testing. And then just a quick reminder, um, if you can, test in a room where the door is closed like this, because if you show me nobody's in here and the door is closed, then I have uh, no reason to think there would be a problem. If you're testing in a room where you can't close the door, you really need to be sure you're the only person at home. There shouldn't be anyone's voice in the background, no TV, no audio. Um, and you really shouldn't talk to yourself while you're testing because sometimes there's a lag between what I hear and seeing lips move and I might not be able to tell that it's you talking and not someone else. Um, so think about those things as you're testing. I'm sure you will do a great job. I promise I will work with you. And if there's anything I haven't addressed in this and you have questions, um, please let me know. I'm looking forward to a great semester. Good luck.